Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Halloween afternoon, 2.27 p.m. October 31st, 2024. Happy Halloween to everyone out there. How's an X flare for this uh, Halloween day? Looks like uh, from this sunspot area I've been chatting about, producing a strong X 2.0 flare. It does look like it's starting to peak out here just a little bit. X 2.03 to be exact from sunspot number. Let's see exactly where this is at. 3878 here is going to be the culprit. We've got two massive areas out here on the northeastern quadrant of the sun. Right around this area. That sunspot area I've been chatting about for quite a while now. So we'll continue to watch that area for some further flaring here. Elevated uh, proton event it looks like continuing to this day there is the effects here on the ionosphere from the current flare mostly over uh, looks like it's a central pacific area this is going to affect high frequency communication systems also low frequency navigation systems out there on the sunlit side of the earth centered again over looks like the south eastern pacific here southeast of hawaii from this x 2.0 now, a little uncertain, though, on if this thing produced any type of uh, CME. It looks like it's rather impulsive event, but we'll have to wait and watch, uh, see if the Space Weather Prediction Center puts out any type of statement on this large X flare that's coming in from Sunspot 38, uh, 3878. All right, any uh, major earthquake activity going on right now? Well, latest one at 5.2 into the curl kamchatka trench no major earthquake activity yet still early in the day seems as though big events happen on these uh, not notorious dates you know like halloween easter christmas uh it always falls on some type of holiday so kind of watching things out here seeing if we don't get some big type of earthquake activity out here across the area uh, one earthquake off the San Andreas Fault right now, a little 0.7, but I don't like seeing activity out here just beyond that zone. Definitely uh, capable of producing an 8.1, this uh, southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault is, and it's been a little while. I was looking at uh, historical data out here across California, and uh, there's quite a few regions over here, not only in Southern California, that are well overdue, but also uh, potentially out here across the Bay Area. I was looking at the Hayward Fault here. And that runs through uh, Oakland, San Leandro area. Last major earthquake they had on, on this fault system was back in 1868. The Hayward Fault for a 6.8. Now, a little bit of time has passed since then. Uh, I think uh, enough strain is built up out there for um, potentially another big one here uh, across that area. Also, the Calaveras Fault System here runs uh, to the east here of the San Francisco region. 6.0 back in 1864, 6.2 back in 1858. A little bit further down the line here, uh, some somewhat recent activity, I suppose. 6.2 back in 1984 and a 6.1 1864. But there's a lot of quakes here from the 1800s, right? That was a long time ago. If you think about all the strain and stress accumulated out here across the West Coast, it, it kind of paints an eerily scary grim future here for california in terms of seeing elevated larger activity here soon it's just a matter of time we've seen it out here in southern california seen some elevated uptick here in the past you know couple months southern california malibu um bakersfield area ridgecrest death valley area all these areas swarming around the san andreas fault and that's why i'm a little concerned out here that we could see uh, some near-term future well near-term larger activity here in this area uh, aside from that got that curl cam chat trench here 5.2 uh, nothing else major going on here across the planet for now but as always we'll definitely be watching this uh, don't forget uh, to stay safe out there tonight folks i mean halloween if you guys are out and about uh, doing the halloween thing stay safe we got some rain coming in here to the uh, Pacific Northwest. It looks like it's going to be rather wet up there. Uh, scat well, scattered showers out there, maybe Northern California as well, but really not expecting uh, too much in terms of large-scale rainfall activity out here across the country, or at least for the Pacific Northwest. These guys dealing with some rain out in the Midwest. But as we put this into motion here, 
These are basically going to be the areas of potential shower activity tonight for Halloween. Uh, central, central portion of the country, northern plains to the south, pretty quiet. Maybe southeast Texas, seeing a little bit of rain showers out here tonight for the trick-or-treating. But, uh, I mean, nothing major. Some colder conditions up there across the Great Lakes states, but that's not uh, unheard of around Halloween, right? A little bit of rain out here across Northern California for the weekend. And uh, severe weather threat ramping up there across the Southern Plains. Look at that. Threat after threat popping up here towards the a weekend here across Oklahoma and the Midwest area. Goodness. Going to get some uh, much needed precipitation. And uh, we'll see what happens out here. All subject to change, right? But uh, anyway, hope everyone has a good Halloween evening. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Nothing major going on out there for now. Just that uh, fairly large X flare. A little spike of an earthquake there on Petrolia Station and some on the Solomon Island stations. But those are very small, very small earthquake activity there. All right, folks, have a good evening. We'll catch you guys back out here uh, a little bit later on. Enjoy your Halloween. Stay safe out there on this spooky evening.